okay now you have to make sure that the supports are properly built okay and uh, <coughs> it should not uh, it should not be less it should be proper enough to hold the design very well okay now I'm done with the supports you can see these are my supports over here and uh, I'm using a resin called DC 500 so I'm gonna put some more supports because I don't want to lose my design just in case if it's less you know sometimes so fix this last thing B enter yeah both side enters it's gonna be point three okay okay now this is done all I have to do is select those design and then I have to export it into STL so I'm going to use uh, export selected okay and uh, it's in a steel folder yeah it's in a steel folder and then I'm going to select the STL over here <coughs> sorry and limit ring 2 save these are the points I use it you can have a look at this you don't have to check any of this and you have to press OK okay binary and make sure this is not check again press ok that's it STL is being created now we're gonna open the STL and fix it into magix okay now the magix is on I'm gonna import from here ring 2 what's the name you can even have a look at here your design okay <coughs> that's it now the main thing you have to do when you open an STL file is to fix them so you're gonna fix it from here update it's gonna take some time fix automatic fixing you have to click this go to advice step update again go to automatic step automatic fixing you have to do this process unless you get shell one okay go to the advice step update automatic fixing go to advice step update okay automatic fixing and I hope this will be the last one again okay, I got two of them so I'm gonna press here and you can see over here this has a zero volume so I'm gonna select this one and then I'm gonna delete this one delete selected shell alright now I'll go to the advice step and I'll click on update okay now it's been fixed that's it I'll close this one I'll uh, do a Z compensation okay before that you can see you have sometimes um, at the triangles you know you know some cracks on it so if you need to filter them you can click on here and then use this parameters and then simply press OK and then you can see you won't have them anymore once you do that press this again just check ok alright this is all ok now I'm gonna go in Z compensation because with DWS machine uh, with every resin there is in Z compensation you have to do you can uh, you can follow the manual and there you have the parameters what exactly you have to do so we'll do a Z compensation with DC 500 you have to compensate 0.16 mm so I'm gonna z compensate 0.16 and press OK OK it's done and then I'm gonna go again here and press this icon I'm gonna update again I'm gonna fix this shell again because once you do a Z composite you have to fix them again alright now everything is done perfect now I'm gonna go in uh, translate and I'm gonna make my Z zero okay zero apply okay that's it everything is done the STL is fixed the Z compensation is done now we're gonna make a SLC file for this and then we're gonna 
convert the SLC file into MKR or DWF whichever no, whichever the file you want and then we're gonna load that file in DWS alright so I have to go in slicing now and I have to use this option and I'm gonna use this parameter so you can simply follow this parameter now if you're gonna go with the 30 micron layers you can use uh, 0 0.3 okay if you need uh, around uh, 20 micron you can use 0 0.02 you can you can even use 0.25 you have an option to run from 10 micron to 30 micron so um, you have the option from 10 to 50 so you can do any one which of any of them you want <coughs> so we're going to do this 0 0.05 tool compensation maximum file uh, and all other uh, parameters you can just simply copy them make sure this is SLC over here and this is where you're going to have your SLC file so I'm gonna press here and uh, I'm gonna save it in my desktop okay uh, one second STL yeah uh, okay STL STL alright okay I'm gonna have it in STL folder so we'll do it with the uh, 30 micron and that's it i'm gonna press ok and it's creating the slc file that's it the slc is done now the final step you have to do is uh, make them into dw for mkr right here's my slc file you can see over here now I'm gonna open the DWS file converter DW yeah DWS file converter and then I'm gonna load the SLC file from here STL STL yeah this was the one you can see the uh, Z Z Z com and in bracket you gonna uh, you can see it's uh, 0 0.15 yeah that's the one we did right now now I'm gonna press open next okay uh, I'm gonna make this hatching point 0 0.05 I'll save the we need the DWS file DWF not as sorry I made a mistake DWF and uh, I'll give the same I'll give the same name so you know it's easy for me to understand which file I'm, in, I'm doing okay ring 2 point ring to slash 0 0.16 alright I am I'll save into the STL folder again and I'll press save okay now I'm gonna press elaborate data I think that's it it's gonna take some time you can see on the screen how it's forming the design see here it's creating the uh, file format UWF here okay once you have this file you can browse from here this is the one open it again and then you can click on check it so what it does it gonna check the file and then it's gonna get the uh, gonna give us the time exactly how much it's gonna be but uh, yeah you can see uh, let's see here behind it's going to take around six hours to build it to build this ring uh, the thickness the layer thickness is 30 micron numbers of layers you can see over here in the dimension x y you can see over here that's it we are done now so the only thing we have to do is we have to run this file in dw controller thank you